I got kept in this pad. There we go. Okay, where do I jump this? Okay. And this. Beautiful, we did it. If only I had tails, I can fly around this, in, this giant map. Yes, the whales of destiny. The killer whales of destiny. Yay, I can run on water. Great. And I just fell in the water again. <laughs> Classic Ram. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? Yep. I can fly and I can speed. And I can't do anything because I failed. I suck. Just like in the classic games. Okay. Void void annoyed. Void annoyed. Beautiful. <laughs> we did it. Fantastic. What's behind here? Anything? What is this? Okay, I guess that was a glitch. Because <laughs> I could have sworn that looked like a mountain. It didn't look like something I can break, but whatever. Yep, that, that's a glitch. That is definitely a glitch. This is a good game. I got two levels of, of water in this game. Two levels. on so close I I fell through nothing actually I fell through something this would be like a little platform right there and I fell through it that, that's fantastic nice yep I'm pretty sure this mountain thing is not supposed to be there pretty sure not positive but I'm pretty positive I like how I break the game every time I play it. I was gonna say. It's like anytime when you give me a game to live stream, I always break it somehow. Oh, this, game, this game is a masterpiece. Hmm. Okay. I am not playing this game on an emulator, I'm playing this on an actual PS3. So if it glitches, it glitches. That's what it is. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. I got it. I'm gonna fix the audio again. Here we go. <laughs> and then put the audio back on. And here we go. Any new comments? Seaside Hill is another great stage. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good stage. For what it is. I'm not a big fan of uh, Sonic Heroes, but for what it is, it looks nice. It has some different, uh, you know, areas of travel through, secrets, whatnot. Hmm. 
Okay, let's uh, switch to uh, Classic Sonic. Yep, here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh no. I'm looking at my uh, YouTube feed and apparently um, Illumination Studios is making a sing too. Great. Pretty much every Illumination film except for Despicable Me 1 is bad. Pretty much every single one of Illumination's films except for Despicable Me, Despicable Me 1 is bad. But here's the thing, the Spickle Me 1 was written by someone who's not even a part of Illumination, the original script. They fixed the script a little bit to be more comedic and dumb fun for kids, but uh, the original script is still somewhere in there, and that script was not written by someone from Illumination. That was a script that was sold to Illumination, so... That's the reason why uh, Despicable... Despicable Me 1 was good, it was because it was made, it was intended to not be an Illumination film. It was written by someone else, but then they said, hey, I'll sell it to you because I'm not using it for anything. Which, uh, funny enough, Illumination Studios was originally intended to be a, a, a hand-drawn 2D animation studio. But they decide to say, you know what, we're not done due to the animation because it doesn't sell well. So we're gonna find a way to do um, CGI animation that's very dirt cheap. Because that was the reason why they wanted to do 2D an animation. Not to just bring it back, but because it was cheaper to do than CGI. So, uh, yeah. That was the reason why they wanted to do 2D an animation, because it was cheaper than CGI animation, but then they realized, hey, well, look, uh, CGI animation does better than 2D animation, so why don't we just come up with a way that would make uh, CGI animation cheaper to make, instead of uh, just doing 2D animation. So, they found the best of both uh, worlds, and they managed to uh, do 2D, uh, 3D animation that can uh, be uh, made in under, like, 50 bucks, I mean, 50 million bucks. So, 50 million for a uh, CGI animated film, that's a good, that's a good price. They probably walked the anime as a death, but uh, still, it's it's cheap. It's cheaper than a Pixar film, which usually costs like a hundred and uh, seventy-five million to make. But yeah, in many many ways, I wish that Illumination Studios was a uh, 2D animation studio instead of a uh, 3D animation studio because it would have been great, it would have been fantastic, it would have been unique but because they did, uh, you know, CG animation instead, uh, it's pretty lame. It doesn't stand out, it just feels like a generic uh, CG animated film. But hey, they're making a uh, Super Mario um, uh, CGI anime uh, movie soon, so that that should be good. Should be interesting. It wouldn't be good actually. It'd just be you know interesting, because uh, Miyamoto apparently approves of it. He says it's it's gonna be great. I I have full faith that this uh Illumination movie is gonna be the best of the Mario's. It's gonna be a good boy, <laughs> but apparently yep nope. It might be good. He likes it. Miyamoto likes it. Could be good. <laughs> Could be bad, though. I don't know uh, Miyamoto's taste in movies. Then again, just look at uh, Miyamoto's uh, you know storytelling in uh, Mario Mario video games because Mario video games do not have the best storytelling. Just uh, Bowser, he he stole the princess again. He he stole the princess again. Did did you see that? So, yeah, I have uh, almost zero faith in the movie, but hey, if Miyamo likes it, he likes it. And there we go. I, I got it. I got it. Oh, 
Oh no, it's Indiana Jones all over again. Move, 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 move. There we go, I got it. Oh no, oh no. Let's see, trucks don't like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, <clears throat> whales don't like Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, these spinning wheels do not like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Then who does like Sonic the Hedgehog? Who? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. <sighs> this uh, live stream apparently has 53 views. That's fantastic. But it's probably, you know, 53 views from like four people keep going in and out of the live stream. Just in and out, in and out, over and over again to see what, what's going on. Seaside Hills. And we just unlocked uh, the chameleon guy.